Welcome to I Love Stocks. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates, and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. But we're going to talk about PLTR. PLTR had a big contract yesterday. This is the website you can go to. They've got different information and stuff on the website. PLTR, you know, um, PLTR builds and deploys software platforms that are the intelligent community in the United States. So, and now they have FDA approval for another three-year contract, which I think is going to give it lasting momentum into the next year. This is going to be fighting with COVID and a lot of other, uh, a lot of other medicines. But uh, it wins a three-year deal worth $44.4 million. It will allow the FDA Center for Drug Evaluation and Research of the Oncology Center of Excellence to use PLTR software to integrate and analyze data. The software will help the agency improve drugs, including possible COVID-19 treatments, the majority of the safety of items like hand sanitizer. Uh, earlier this year, the FDA warned the public that hand sanitizers containing wood, alcohol, and toxics, or whatever that means. It's going to be a, it's going to be a boost for the stock. So let's go ahead and get right into the stock itself. Let me see if I can find it here. This is the yearly chart. This is when it first started coming out. This is, let me make sure I got the year up here. Oh, yeah. So let's take a good look at it. We've got a low support down here, definitely right around this area right in here. And we're going to top chart that off right around the 2436 area. And I'm going to run up here through here and use the bodies of the candles for supports and resistance levels. And I'm going to use the wicks to compromise, to, uh, to, um, I'm having a brain fart, to, uh, you know what I mean, right there, early morning, my friends, 2807, and we're going to go ahead and bring us up to 29, and then right here at 3112, with a long, at 3344 to break, but look, let's bring this down, oh, we got one right in here, we can't leave that one out. Let's bring us to the 20 day. We're going to try to catch a knife or try to find a support level. And you see that Morgan Stanley came down here and downgraded it last week. And it pulled back to about 22 bucks right around this 2173 area, which is pretty solid support off this here channel. So, yeah, that was a pretty good pullback right there. That would have been a pretty good little entry right there. Uh, it was alerted into the room by Mr. Basscat and probably others that I didn't see, but uh, caught my eye, and I scalped it real fast, and it just kept running on up. did pretty well. You know, it broke a resistance here of 2907, so that's going to be our first little support level. We have a head and shoulders right here, and it did pull back. Then we have an inverse head and shoulders right here, and it just took a little, day, a little bit of time for that right shoulder to start consolidate and then we had the huge breakout so i'm thinking we've got three different support levels i want to see hold and maybe one right down here for a strong buy and that's going to be right there right around 2642 because of this peak right here and this pullback right here so let's color these in we got the first support i like to see hold at 29 bucks for a retracement back up if not you have three others to go to this little pivot point area right here at 2807. Look at that, 2807 and 2907. I don't see that very often. That could be your second support at 2807. And then, wow, I haven't seen this in a long time. 2707, 2807, and 2907. I don't think I've ever seen that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with that as a, as a good luck charm. But 2708 is going to be your low support. 2807 is going to be your second, and your first one is going to be 2907. Resistance to break here at 3112 and 3344. I think we have some room for this to start playing out. Morgan Stanley's probably biting her tongue right now. But, you know, even the fat cats can't get it right most of the time. It's best to do your own homework, do your own research. Please don't go in a trade blindly. And let's have a good time with this stock tomorrow. PLTR. Thank you, Mr. Basket, for alerting it in the room. And Vegas followed this up also. And we just have a great team. I love stocks. 
Always remember, we have a little Twitter, Twitter account here. We appreciate it if you follow us on there. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis. And we also have on our website our stock Twix links, Pinterest, YouTube channel. Go back and watch some of the previous videos, and we do have a store where you can buy some merchandise. Always remember, I love stocks. Let's have a great day. Bingo!